Hi everybody! This week I'm going to show you how to make these easy snowflake Christmas ornaments made on a loom. Today's shout out goes to Midnight Dreams because she noticed the snowflakes hanging on the door in our snowman tutorial and asked me to make this video. Thank you so much for noticing them and leaving your suggestion. As you all know, I am hooked on creating unique and fun things on my looms and this one is super easy to do. I love decorating with snowflakes and not just on my Christmas tree, but I like to hang them all around my house and they make great decorations all winter long. I can't wait to show you how to make these snowflakes. Here is what you're going to need to make them. Yarn. I use blue and white. A loom. I used a 12 peg loom. A loom hook. Scissors. And a yarn needle and tacky glue are optional. The first thing I do is make a slip knot. Give yourself extra yarn. Then put the knot on the side peg. Start wrapping the yarn on the peg directly across the loom from where your yarn is hooked. Continue to wrap the pegs from side to side like this. Watch how I place the yarn on each peg. I started on the side closest to the pegs that are already wrapped. Then I pull it across to the other side and do the same thing. Once you get the hang of it, it will go super fast and you won't even have to think about it. You can make your snowflake with only one layer of yarn, which makes it a more delicate snowflake. Or you can make it with two layers, which will hide your knots better. Notice the difference between each snowflake and make yours how you like yours best. I decided to make my snowflake a double layered snowflake by simply wrapping each peg twice. Once all the pegs are wrapped, hold your yarn piece with your finger, give yourself extra yarn, and cut your yarn string. The next thing you want to do is push your yarn string to the back side of your loom. Unhook the yarn on the side peg and pull the slip knot out. Push that yarn string to the back side of the loom also. Now we will tie both strings together on the back. Give it a couple knots. Let's make the string that we will hang our snowflake with by simply tying a couple of knots in the two strings to about the length you would like your snowflake to hang. I pull my loop string between two pegs, cut a piece of blue yarn, and now we will tie the loop string and all the strings that are on the pegs together with the blue string. I tie three knots. Then I get my scissors and I cut the extra string off. The next thing that I do is push the knot carefully to the back side of the snowflake like this. Do the same thing all the way around the snowflake. Group the strings on two pegs at a time and tie them together until they are all grouped together. Don't forget to push your knots to the back. This is what it will look like when it is done. Now cut another piece of blue yarn to do the center part of the snowflake. You can use your yarn needle for this if it will make it easier for you. I simply wrap the yarn string between each snowflake arm. After the first wrap, Tie one knot to be sure that the string holds while you are wrapping. The goal is to give it color in the middle of the snowflake, so you can wrap the center however you think it looks best to you. When you think it looks good, tie and cut the strings on the back. Now it is time to take our snowflake off of our loom. I use the hook at first, and then the rest of it pops off easy at the end. I tied my knots three times because I noticed that when I tied it two times, some of the knots would come undone. And then I realized why not put tacky glue on my knots to be double sure that none of my knots come undone. It is quite simple to put a dab of glue on each knot, and I think it is well worth the wait for it to dry to be sure that the strings stay tied. Tacky glue dries clear, so there is no worries about seeing the glue. I hope you enjoyed watching me make my snowflakes today and that it inspires you to give it a try too. Please feel free to leave your comments, questions, and suggestions down below. I love reading them and responding to them. Don't forget to check out our Facebook page. It is a great place to share your pictures with us. I am so excited about all the pictures that were posted this week on our Facebook page. Let's take a look at all this awesomeness. Let's start out with Latasha's loomed hat. She made this hat extra long for her dad. I think it looks like a super fun hat and it makes me giggle. Here is Jenny's loomed hat. 
The colors are amazing, and I think it is so pretty. This is Christy's hat. Her son was kind enough to model it for a picture. The colors in this hat are beautiful, too. Now let me show you Twilla's hat. This hat makes me think of Santa in the holidays. I think I might want to make one of these to wear for Christmas myself. And Mike made this adorable little snowman inspired by our snowman tutorial. So cute. I thank all of you for taking the time to share your projects with us. I love them all. I also want to say thank you to everyone for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye! Spider. <laughs> You're telling me it's probably riddled with spiders. <laughs> I'm not putting them on until they're blown out. <laughs>